Hi guys, in this video, I wanna talk about the best remedy to recharge your cellular energy, okay? Now, I don't know if you know this, but your cells are like mini batteries. And a battery has a positive and a negative, and that allows for the electrons to travel from one pole to the other, generating an electrical current. In your cells, you have the exact same thing. You have, but you have two minerals held apart in different concentrations allow the, the current to flow. You have little pumps on the cell wall that are called sodium potassium pumps, okay? And you have this exchange of minerals uh, back and forth. And that's what generates the electrical current of the cells that let things move neurologically, muscles, and just generating energy in general. So really what generates your energy is the concentration, certain concentrations of minerals inside the cell and outside the cell. Now, most of the minerals inside the cell would be potassium. You have like 10 times, more than 10 times the mineral concentration of potassium inside the cell than outside the cell. Outside the cell, you have a lot more concentrated sodium than inside the cell. So we have this difference, right? So when you get a blood test and you're checking the blood, you're not checking inside the cell. You're checking outside the cell. So you're always gonna, you're not gonna get a true picture of what's going on with this potassium. That's a special test that you have to look inside the cell. So if you're trying to check these minerals with a blood test, it won't show up, okay? That's what I'm gonna say. Now, normally we need uh, about a little more than four times the potassium than the sodium inside your body, the ratios from the diet. And that's in nature, if you look at the foods that give you that, uh, that would be vegetables. So the first thing you need to do to increase energy is to increase vegetables, okay? That would be like a lot. Like you would need about at least seven cups to 10 cups of vegetable every single day to give you the right ratios of sodium and potassium. Now, in, in our society in America, most people can, are really heavy on the sodium. That, in fact, they have between 3,000 to 4,000 milligrams of sodium and only 1,000 milligrams of potassium. It's the exact flip-flop because they don't even have enough vegetables, but they eat junk food. And also sugar and high fructose corn syrup deplete potassium. So you can see they have this ratio, and that's why they're tired all the time. They're dragging because they haven't generated the, the right concentration of minerals inside and outside the cell to allow the, the uh, gradient to happen or the, the power to be generated. So your power and your strength and your muscle and your nerve and just your energy it has to do with the concentration of these little minerals, okay? Um, because of this problem, what I did is to solve it, to enhance the diet, I created a product, it's, it's called electrolyte powder, okay? This stuff is very unique in that it has what's missing in a lot of electrolyte powder, powders. First of all, it has 1,000 milligrams of potassium. You can't find electrolyte powder with 1,000 milligrams. At the very most, it's like 99 milligrams, not 1,000. And here's another trick that happens in supplements, if you see that something has like even 100 milligrams of potassium citrate, well, when the citrate splits off, that's 70% of that 100 milligrams. So you're only getting 30 milligrams of potassium when you get, when you're basically taking 100 milligrams of potassium citrate because the citrate splits off over here and the potassium is over here. So to get 1,000 milligrams of potassium per serving size, I had to put 3,000 milligrams of potassium citrate in one serving size. Does that make sense? So now it makes up for the difference with citrate. So the benefit of that is that you're getting a lot of potassium, you're getting a small amount of sodium, you're getting magnesium, you're getting chlorides, you're getting a little bit of calcium, you're getting all the electrolytes in this powder. So in the right ratio. So when you consume this, you mix it with water, you drink it down, what you're gonna feel is you're gonna start feeling more energy right off the bat. And that's the feedback that I'm getting. I take it every day. Great for a workout, uh, and also just as in general to get your electrolytes. The other thing I wanna mention is that I did not wanna put maltodextrin in my product like a lot of the other ones. So there's no sugar, there's no maltodextrin. Uh, there's basically uh, a little pinch of stevia, which you're not gonna taste any aftertaste with natural flavoring, with raspberry lemon, and it tastes really, really good, and it all dissolves you drink it down. Some people do one a day, some people do two, or even three per day. So uh, definitely check it out if you want to generate more energy and put your comments below.
Hey, before you leave, I just wanted to give you a little quick history on some of the books that I wrote. This was one of the first books. It's called Dr. Berg Body Shapes. It was my attempt at um, writing about body types. Uh, what was very interesting about this book is I actually did all the images myself. Uh, don't ask me why. Um, they look actually not quite as professional as some of the uh, images that I have in the new book. But anyway, this is my first attempt right here called Dr. Berg's Body Shape Diets. Uh, and then I wrote a book um, more extensive called The Seven Principles of Fat Burning. I don't even have a copy anymore, actually, um, because it's outdated. Uh, the next book, uh, I put about a thousand hours into this one right here called The New Body Type Guide, Major Updates on the Body Types. Uh, I put a lot of energy into this. Uh, it has professional images, graphics, all sorts of things. Now, the problem with this book is it doesn't really describe what this is really about. Body types are only a small portion of what's in this book. And that's why I changed the name to the Healthy Keto Plan, okay? If you happen to have this book, you don't really need this book because there's some only very, very minor updates. But if you don't have this, you need to get this one right here. Um, this book goes into every single detail that you would ever wanna know about. It goes into the seven principles of fat burning. It goes into hormones, uh, the body types, the basic keto plan. It goes into intermittent fasting. I talk about the 10 fat burning triggers and blockers and fat burning strategies with a lot of details in every single chapter. I go into body issues that interfere with losing weight. Um, there's very few people that just have a weight problem. They have a lot of body issues, whether it's sleeping problems, uh, stress problems, inflammation, menopause. I cover that extensively in this book. Then I talk about how to get rid of stress and I show you a technique. Uh, then I get into exercising. And then I have a lot of really good recipes in this book as well. So uh, this is a good reference guide. Um, on my website, if you get this book, you get this one free. It's called Healthy Keto Intermittent Fasting. This is the shortcut, uh, quick guide to this book. And uh, the reason I created this book is to have you, within 45 minutes, learn how to do keto, okay, in intermittent fasting, exactly what you need to do. Then you can fill in the blanks with this book right here. So right now I'm doing a special. If you get this book, you get this one totally free, or you can go to Amazon and get these individually. So I just want to clarify the difference between this book and this updated one right here. If you don't have this, you need to get this right here. That way you can get the exact correct information to do it healthily.